Hi everyone, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to design this Our Team page for your Blogger website. So this can be really useful if you have a team working for you. You can show the names and pictures of your team members so that they can get some exposure as well. So as always, we will start designing this in our code editor and uh, then I'll show you how to copy this to your Blogger website. So let's get started. I have this blank project opened in VS Code and I also have a folder called images and in that I have the images of our team members. Alright, so now let's get started by creating our files. First of all, we'll create an index.html file and then we'll create a style.css file. So let's start with the index.html file. We'll add some basic HTML5 boilerplate code by just typing exclamation and pressing tab so this is a feature in uh, VS code alright so let's start by linking our style.css file now let's start by creating a division with a class of team container and in that we'll have an h2 with a class of team heading and we'll type our team over here and let me just open this in our browser. So I have this extension live server installed. So I'll just click on open with live server. Alright, so here we can see our heading. Now the first thing we'll do is uh, we'll create a division specially for the CEO because this is a separate section. So let's go over here and uh, let's create a division with a class of CEO. And in that we will have a division with a class of profile pick. And in that we'll have the image. So for the SRC we'll type images slash team member one. So this is the first profile picture. Now let's add uh, the team member name. So we'll have another division with a class of team member name. And we'll just add a name over here. And then we also need the designation. So we'll just have a division with a class of meta and we'll type founder and CEO all right that's it with the CEO now let's have another heading and uh, this time we'll have an s3 and we will type our core team and here we'll have all our team members so these are the three team members so we'll have a container division for that so we'll just have a division with a class of core team container and in that we'll have each team member inside a division with a class of team member. And in that we'll have almost the same code as that of our CEO. So we'll just copy these lines of code. And we'll paste it over here. And we'll change the image to team member 2. And uh, we'll also change the name and uh, the designation. Right now let's copy this team member two more times and let me just update the information. Alright, I have updated all the information. Now let's go to our style.css and uh, let's style this page. Now first of all, we'll target the team container and we'll give it a font family of Roboto and we'll also give it a padding of 24 pixels top and bottom and 0 for left and right and we'll set the maximum width to 1000 pixels. Alright, now let's target the H2 so we'll type team container h2 and uh, we'll text align it to the center and uh, we'll give it a font size of 48 pixels and we'll text transform it to uppercase and then we'll set the font weight to normal and uh, the letter spacing to 8 pixels we'll give it a background color of dark gray and the color of the text to light gray and set the width 
to 500 pixels and margin 48 pixels for top and bottom and auto for left and right all right that's it with the heading now let's target the ceo division so we'll type team container ceo and we'll text align it to the center all right now let's set the padding to 8 pixels now let's target the image inside the ceo so we'll type team container ceo img and we'll set the width and height to 200 pixels now let's target all the images and uh, we'll give a smaller height and width to these three images but we have already set a width and height of 200 pixels to the ceo img so this will remain the same so here we'll type team container img and uh, we'll set the width to 160 pixels and uh, the height to 160 pixels and uh, i'll also set the border radius to 50 percent and we'll also have a box shadow and we'll set it to 0 8 pixels 29 pixels minus 17 pixels rgba 0 0 0 and uh, 0 0.4 now let's target the team member division and uh, for that we'll just set the display to flex and flex direction to column and text align to the center and we'll also give it a padding of 16 pixels now let's target the team member name so we'll type team container and team member name so we'll set the font weight to bold and the font size to 22 pixels and margin of 12 pixels for top and bottom and for the name of the ceo we will just increase the font size a little so we'll type team container ceo team member name and we'll set the font size to 28 pixels and our team members are being displayed one below the other so let's target the core team container division and we'll give it a display of flex and justify content to space around and uh, we'll also set the flex wrap to wrap so now if you decrease the width of our uh, browser we can see that when we don't have enough space the other images are shown at the bottom all right that's it with the core theme container now the last thing we need to style is this heading over here so here we'll type team container s3 and uh, we will text align it to the center we'll give it a margin of 48 pixels top and bottom we'll also set a border top of 1 pixels solid light gray and also border bottom of the same now let's give it a padding of 24 pixels and text transform to uppercase and font weight to normal all right that's it with the design of the our theme page now let's maximize the browser and we also need to center the whole thing horizontally so let's open vs code and for the theme container we will just type margin zero auto and now we can see everything is being centered now the last thing to do is create a page in our blogger website and copy the code to that page i have logged into my blogger account so let's go to pages and create a new page and uh, we'll name it our team now let's just type something over here and uh, let's publish this page and we'll just see how this page looks right now so here we can see this huge heading section over here and uh, let's inspect this page now if you take a look at the post body container we can see that it doesn't have the full 100 percent width and uh, here we can see we have some padding right over here then we also have a margin left over here so we have to change some styles for this particular page so the first thing we need to do is we need to remove the padding right and then we also need to remove the margin left and then we have to set a maximum width of 1000 so let me just add max width of 1000 over here and then we also need to center this horizontally so we'll just type margin left auto and margin right auto so now we can see we have a width of 1000 pixels and uh, it is also centered horizontally and then one more thing we need to do is uh, we need to hide this huge heading over here so i think this is the heading so if we'll just type 
display none we can see that the heading is gone so these are the things we need to do for this particular page so let's copy the URL of this page and uh, let's go to theme and then click on edit HTML now we will search for less than forward slash B colon skin and here we can see it so let's go over here and add some code so we'll use an if condition and check whether we are on this page over here so to check that in blogger you have to type less than b colon if c o n d for condition equals and in single quotes we have to type data colon blog dot url equals and then in double quotes we can type the URL so we have already copied the URL so we'll just paste it over here and then close the double quotes and also the single quotes and uh, we'll type greater than over here and then we'll just end this tag over here by typing less than forward slash b colon if so this will end this tag over here now whatever code we type over here will be applied only to this page right here because we have added this URL to this condition so here we will add some styles so we'll type style and then we'll close the style over here and uh, here we'll type post body container this was the name of the division that we just inspected so here we'll type margin left and we'll set it to auto we'll set the margin right to auto as well and we'll set the padding right to 0 and the max width to 1000 pixels and we also need to hide this post title container over here so we'll just target this division post title container and we'll set it to display none now that's basically it with customizing our page now let's add our CSS so we'll just copy this whole CSS from here and we just paste it over here right that's it with the CSS now let's just save the theme now if you go to our theme page and if you refresh our page so here we can see we don't have the heading and uh, everything is working fine so let's go to our pages and uh, let's edit our page now let's copy our HTML to this page so we will move to the HTML tab and let's go to our code editor and uh, we'll just copy this theme container division and we'll just paste it over here now we need to add uh, the source of the image right here so right now we don't have any images directory in our blogger website so I'll just delete this line of code from here and I'll just click on this insert image button and then you can choose your images by clicking on this button called choose files let's select all these images and click on open and we'll select the first image and click on add selected and we'll just leave all these as it is and click on ok alright now we have added our first image now let's do this for all the other images so let's cut this line of code from here and uh, insert image and then select the second image and click on add selected ok and we'll do the same with the third image and lastly the fourth image alright that's it with our page now let's go ahead and click on update and let's view our page so here we can see our team page and uh, we have these team members over here and we can see that it is responsive as well now the last thing we need to do is fix this heading over here because this has some weird styling so let's go over here and inspect the heading and we can see that our styles are all here and they are being applied to our heading but we have some extra styles being applied to the heading so let's see what is causing the problem so let's uh, go to a container division so let's go to the post body container and uh, there is nothing here so let's go to the post body 
and uh, here if you take a look at this we can see a style called post body colon colon first letter so this is one of the styles that's being applied to our heading so if I just remove all these styles so we can see that we have almost the correct styling and uh, we have one more style over here for the first line so if I disable this style as well we can see we have the exact styling that we designed so let's go ahead and unset these styles in our template file so we'll go to our dashboard and click on theme and then click on edit html so let's scroll down to where we had created the code for our specific page so here's the code that we added for our page let's go ahead and uh, copy this from here and paste it over here and let's also copy this selector from here and paste it over here now we'll just enable these and we'll copy these to our template file so just copy these styles and paste it over here and copy this style and paste it over here now we need to unset all these properties over here so we'll just type unset for all these property values and we'll also unset this color over here all right now let's click on save theme and uh, let's refresh our page and uh, here we can see that our heading is being displayed correctly so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and uh, if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day